Aloha guys, this is Joyce from Enjoy Scrapping 2. Today I'm going to be making this super quick and easy thank you card. Um, here I have a piece of glossy cardstock and um, I basically just scribbled. Um, this is Sharpie markers. Um, so this is very easy. You just scribble on uh, the colors that you wanted to use like I wanted kind of like a rainbow look so um, I did that and then um, I'm using some denatured alcohol you can also use the Copic um, uh, uh, colorless blender and you can either um, use a droplet to just drop here and there or you can even use a spray and that's how I created created that um, colorful background. Here I have another rectangle frame that I cut out. I just folded the cardstock in half and I got um, two pieces from it. And I thought that would be um, easier, kind of like a picture frame. And then I'm going to attach this um, and put it just inside of that um, uh, black uh, frame. You can either um, cut it separately or together or however way you feel um, it's best for you. And I just uh, did it this way. This was a lot easier for me. And then I'm going to attach it all together so it becomes just one layer with the black frame around it. To create the black frame you just um, put uh, the large one and a smaller one and um, inside it and then run it through all together and so I have this really cool background it's colorful and bright so I wanted my sentiment to be uh, basically very plain so this is a uh, thanks that I cut out using my Cricut and I cut out five um, of those and I attached them all together so now I'm um, uh, attaching um, this panel to my A2 size card front and I'm deciding if I just want to stick them down or if I want to um, give it some more dimension and use a foam dot and I decided that I was going to use the uh, foam adhesive instead. Since this um, card is just basically uh, had one layer so um, I just decided to um, put some foam adhesive. I put a lot of foam adhesive because um, uh, so the cards won't buckle because the um, uh, the, car uh, the card stock that I used, the glossy card stock was a little bit um, like wavy. So now that I have this things and I want it I wanted it to uh, stay white but I wanted some shine and here I have the ultra thick embossing powder and I, I thought I would just um, put some embossing powder over the word thanks uh, but it didn't work out the way um, I wanted it to so um, I should have uh, from the beginning I should have just used glossy accents because that gives that shine as well um, so here I uh, try to um, do um, the embossing powder onto this thing and it doesn't go on evenly. Um, I'm not sure why. Uh, maybe um, the um, that glue pad needed more glue. I'm not sure what happened but um, it wasn't working out. So later on you can see that I just um, decided to put glossy accent um, on the entire word thanks and then I just adhere it um, strip um, straight on top of the card um, that we just created to give that um, shine so I'm still trying to fuss with it and try and see if I can fix it using the embossing powder but um, it was uneven and I didn't like the way it turned out So now you can see um, the card um, that's all that's finished. 
so I put glossy accents on the things instead and you can see that dimension and shine that's a lot uh, that was a lot easier than um, uh, playing with the embossing powder so this is my card for today super fast super simple and here um, I thought it needed something so I'm putting some um, glittered um, stars it's um, gold cardstock that I had um, cut using some uh, star um, dies so I'm just attaching it um, straight onto um, the glossy uh, cardstock just with glue so pretty simple thank you so much and I'll see you next time thanks bye